We are now going to combine some earlier information about linear inequalities and unions and intersections, and we're going to talk about how they work together. So we're going to look at this problem. x is greater than or equal to 3, and y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. So remember that we essentially treat these both as equations and graph them separately. And we figure out whether they're solid or dashed. In this case, this one's solid, and this one's solid because of the or equals. So we're going to draw a line at x equals 3. It's a vertical line right here. And then we plug in 0, and we say, is 0 greater than or equal to 3? Since that's false, we shade away from the 0, 0 point. So if he had his way, he'd shade this region right here. But he's not the only one who decides the shading because of the and, so we also have to worry about this other line. So this one, also solid, starts at minus 1 and has a slope of, oops, it starts at minus 1 and has a slope of 2. So up 2 over 1 all the way up and down 2 back 1 all the way down. And then we draw the line. Solid again because of the or equals. Plug in 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 0 minus 1? That's also false. So he's also shading away from the 0, 0 line. So he's shading this way and this way. And if he had his way, he'd shade this region right through here. But what we care about is the and. Where do they both want to shade? And it has to be where they both want to shade, not just where one of them want to shade because of the and. So we come in here, and we grab our shading, and we look at this region. We notice neither of them wants to shade here, so it can't be here. Only one of them, the x is greater than or equal to 3, wants to shade here. And only one of them, y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1, wants to shade here. The only region they both want to shade is this region right here. And so that becomes our correct shaded region, the purple. We don't want this one because it's only the green line that wants it, and we don't shade over here because it's only the blue line that wants it. The purple is our answer. Well, that works great for an and, and is the one we're going to do most often. But what about an or? Suppose we have x plus 1 third y is less than 6, or y is greater than or equal to minus 3. Again, we're going to pretend that these are equal signs. And I'm actually going to look at this first one a little bit differently, although we could do this with intercepts. The problem is that the y-intercept is going to be at 18, which is way too high for our graph. So instead, what I'm going to look at is the x-intercept is at 6. And if I solve for y, 1 third y equals minus x plus 6, multiply everything by 3, we get minus 3x plus 6, which means it goes down 3 and over 1. And then up 3 and back 1 the other way. And this, because it's a strictly less than, is a dashed line. And since 0 plus 0 is less than 6 is true, he's going to shade towards 0, 0. So there's our first one, and he would shade this whole region right here. For our second one, we have y equals minus 3, so that's just at the minus 3 line. This one's solid because of the or equals line underneath. And y is greater than means we shade above because we want to pick all the y values that are bigger than it, so he wants to shade this way. So again, we have one, two, three, four regions that we want to look at shading. But this time, we're combined by the word or. That means if anyone wants to shade it, it's part of the answer. So this region gets shaded. This region right here gets shaded. And this region that they both want to shade gets shaded. So with an or, we end up with three of the four regions being shaded. The only region that's not is the one that neither wants. For an and, we only get one, and that's the region they both want to shade. And so that's our intersections and unions of, linear, of two linear inequalities.